I'd recommended Jeff Beck for the job in the Yardbirds. And I heard this sort of car roar up. And I saw that there was a blue Corvette Stingray outside. And Jeff's coming out and he's holding this guitar. And he said, here, this is yours. And he gave me the Telecaster uh, that he'd been using. Well, obviously, I was really moved. And then Jeff eventually left the band and I continued to play the Telecaster guitar. But by then I was doing all manner of things with it. I was playing it with a bow and really putting it through its paces. I got to the point where I wanted to consecrate this guitar and really make it my own. I tried applying mirrors to it so you could use it in an optical way. It was this whole thing of the reflective surfaces and you could actually sort of reflect the light onto other things to make it sort of almost kinetic at the same time as something that was a channeling vehicle for music. I had a vision of what I really wanted to do with the guitar. The whole idea of it was to bring a new, an extra life into it, an extra identity into it. So the whole of the Dragon artwork, I wanted to paint it in colour opposites, in a sort of op art kind of way. I've got a strip guitar and I've got the paints, and I just sort of do it. And as I'm doing it, I get more ambitious. I wanted to have this Perspex pit guard and get all these lights and rainbow colours. It would just sort of explode in colour. A real custom-made psychedelic guitar. And the whole thing was assembled and I went, yes. I had an idea of what I thought the Yardbirds could be doing in the future. And they actually told me what it was that they wanted to do and I thought, well, no, I don't see it going that way for me. We had a road manager with us, and he said, you know, there's a palmist just at the bottom on the street there. And I said, yeah, I'll go for a laugh. And they said, you're going to make a decision very soon that'll change your whole life. That was it. That was a decision to form a band. I knew the numbers that I wanted to do, and I'd already had some of the stuff already written, and then I'd get them to my house to rehearse everything that we're going to need for Led Zeppelin 1. On that first album, I wanted to do everything, whether it's sort of blues or rockabilly or a little bit of jazz, and just wanting to have something which had the full breadth and depth of orchestras just through guitar music. And the Telecaster is employed all the way through that album. It just goes to show the versatility of the Telecaster and what could be achieved. We play in San Francisco at the film, and that's the point where the name of Led Zeppelin travels across America like that because we just absolutely knock the place apart. But it's this guitar, this guitar that's sort of been painted and consecrated, that is the Excalibur that goes through from Jeff Beck to me and the Yardbirds, relatively unscathed, and it's the guitar that does Led Zeppelin one. But it's got a journey like I've got a journey too. That journey of that guitar through is pretty, pretty extraordinary stuff.